All right, everybody, in today's quick episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your laptop to your router with an ethernet cable. I'll also be detailing some important considerations when it comes to the ethernet cable you use to connect your router and your laptop. Okay, we're going to start by connecting one end of this ethernet cable to the ethernet port on your laptop. Let's get a close up view of what that looks like so you know what to do. All right, so here's a close up of the side of my laptop. I have quite a few things plugged in, but the ethernet port that you're looking for will look something like this. There might be a little tab on the bottom that locks the ethernet cable in place. So let's take one end of the ethernet cable, it doesn't matter which one, and slide it into that port. And as we slide it in, we should hear a click. A slight click to lock it in place. Okay, let's move to the next step. An important detail to note here is that if you can't find an ethernet port on your laptop, you actually might not be going crazy. A lot of manufacturers nowadays are making laptops without ethernet ports. This adds another layer of difficulty, but you'll still be able to connect your laptop to your router with an ethernet port. I'll detail this in a future video. Okay, getting back to the task at hand, we have one end of the ethernet cable connected to your laptop. Now we need to find the ethernet port that it connects to on your router. As you can see, the ethernet ports look exactly like the one on your laptop. The only thing we have to make sure we do here is we have to make sure that we plug this ethernet cable into the correct port. As you might see over here, there's actually another ethernet port that's titled internet. That ethernet port is reserved for connecting your modem and router. And we're here trying to connect our laptop and router. So we need to use one of these other ethernet ports here. You can tell by these ethernet ports being labeled ethernet. You might also see LAN as the label, but that's what we're looking for here. It doesn't matter which LAN port you use. So connect the other end of the ethernet cable to any one of these. So let's do that now. Again, you'll hear a click when it slides in. Okay, now your laptop should be connected to your router with an ethernet cable. But there are a few confirmations here, a few ways to ensure that the connection is working properly. So let's walk through those. The first is by looking at the lights on your router itself. There should be a light that indicates if a device is active and connected to one of the ethernet ports on your router. That's what this light indicates here. I will unplug my laptop from my router and plug it back in to show you that this light lights up. So let's unplug it. This light goes off and then when we plug it back in again, let's plug it back in into a different ethernet port and a different light will light up. There you go. So you know that the connection is being registered by your router. The other way to confirm that your laptop and router are connected with an ethernet cable is to look at the network connection status on your laptop. What we can do is look down here. There's a little symbol here in the lower right. This is a monitor with a little ethernet cable next to it. It's indicating that you have an ethernet connection to the internet. So if I go ahead and disconnect this ethernet cable, it will indicate that the laptop has a Wi-Fi connection to the internet. So let me prove that out for you now. Okay, I disconnected the ethernet cable and here, here's the universal Wi-Fi symbol. It's showing that the laptop is now connected via Wi-Fi. So let's connect this back in. There we are, back to an ethernet connection. When connecting your laptop and your router with an ethernet cable, there are a few considerations you need to have with regard to the ethernet cable you use. The first, and there are always questions about this, is what type of ethernet cable should you use? I have recommendations for this that I've detailed in another video. I'll link to that up top for your reference if you want to check it out. But in general, if you have a Cat5e or Cat6 cable, you won't have any problems. The next question I get all the time is, 
How long should the ethernet cable be? This is something else you don't have to worry about. As long as the ethernet cable connecting your laptop and your router is less than 328 feet long, you won't experience any performance issues. I hope this information was useful for you. If you need some more help, please drop a comment below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And lastly, if you like my content, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and come along for the ride as I publish more tips and tricks moving forward. As always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.